Hi, I'm Andy Glass with WorkshopAddict.com. Today we're taking a quick peek at the Woodpecker's latest one-time tool. It's the Variable Router Jig. Let me bring you in for a closer look. I'll show you what's included, how we assemble it, and then we'll demonstrate how we use the Variable Router Jig. The Variable Router Jig comes complete with four 18-inch long tracks that are engraved in both inch and metric scales, four lock bars and hardware to lock the tracks together, four clamp brackets to clamp the Variable Router Jig down to your table, and a hex ball wrench to lock everything together. Connecting the tracks and assembling the system is extremely easy. You first put the locking bar in the side of one of the tracks. Now these are a prototype model that are 3D printed. The production units are going to be much higher quality. Then you insert the hardware into the slats. You connect those bolts and using the long ball tipped Allen wrench or hex wrench, you tighten everything together. And the beautiful thing about this is there's two connecting points so everything gets lined up and squared and secured very, very well. Once you have it assembled, you simply loosen them up. You don't have to completely disconnect them. And now you're able to slide them back and forth wherever you need them. The included stainless steel clamp brackets allow you to clamp the variable rudder jig down to your table and apply clamping force without impeding the work surface that the router may slide on. Some people or shops utilize routers for quite a few operations in their shop. The folks that use routers often make single one-time use jigs that accomplish the task and then they throw them away. The variable router jig could be a solution for these folks. In our shop we use a different setups, different ways to accomplish these tasks with other tools. We just don't see a router taking that big of a role in our shop, therefore the router jig is something that you can certainly have in your shop, but it's a niche tool for those specific people that use those routers in their shop. The variable router jig is a similar product to the MFS by Festool that is no longer available. So if that is a product that you had your eye on and now you cannot get access to it, here's your chance to get something similar and in our opinion something above and beyond that as Woodpeckers has designed this a little bit better. They've included a longer wrench to make it just easier to adjust. There's two points, it's self squaring. It performed very well, we were happy with the ease of adjusting the size opening that you want or the shape opening that you want. Now in this kit you only get four of the tracks. As we mentioned earlier you can buy optional longer tracks or multiple tracks. If you are someone that uses a router quite often in your shop you can just absolutely get crazy with this. I've done a little bit of research going into this review trying to figure out kind of creative ways people are using this. People have oriented these into making stair treads for mortising uh, actual treads into the stringers of steps. And I thought that was very, very clever and just a prime example of how versatile a jig like this can be. Now we feel that this jig is something that when you bring it into your shop and you're using it every day, you're going to find more and more uses out of it. But in our shop, it's something that we could not justify. Uh, spending that cost with how much we utilize a router or I should say how little we utilize a router. With that being said, we also realize that when we do use a router, we are investing time in scrap wood or maybe store-bought wood to making these single-use jigs and if we invest that time up front or invest that cost up front and purchase something like this, well down the road we're saving time and money uh, not having to build and set up those single-use jigs and simply just pop this thing out, assemble it, and get the job done. So as you saw our demonstration, we made this field pocket mortise inlay. You can do a whole lot of things with just this simple geometry right here. Uh, something that's very, very popular for that type of application is router table plate insets. That you make that pocket, you make your cutout, and then you drop your router table plate right on top to make a shop made uh, router table. As we said, we don't use routers a whole lot in the shop, but what we do, we find ourselves making those single one-time use jigs. We invest the time, obviously the scrap wood, or potentially wood that we need to buy to make that jig. Um, and then at that point, 
we accomplish that task and that gets thrown out and, and put in the scrap pile or the fire. There is a slight possibility that the variable router jig could have a fit in our shop. Now it is quite, a, quite an expensive tool and it's something that we probably couldn't justify for those rare instances in our shop. But if you're someone that uses a router in your shop quite often, it could be a very, very valuable tool and jig to have in your shop so you don't have to invest that time every single time you want to make a jig in your shop. Let us know below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. We'd be happy to provide some feedback and answer any questions you may have. Follow us on social media as we do product review updates, project updates, and exclusive social media giveaways. I'm Andy Glass with Workshop Attic. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.